Start recording and continue. Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Renowned Explorers League of Gentlemen things. Actually, it's not gentlemen or anything like that. So I can go to the Hungarian Fort, I can go to the Transylvanian region. What else do we got here? A lot of four, four stars. Am I confident in doing a four star? No. Do I have to? Yes. Oh, hey, we can do the Memphis de Desert. Let's do that one. Let's uh, let's do a bit of a skill up here. I think we'll be fine renown wise. I hope so. We only have two more missions left to to bypass that guy, and I'm I'm hoping. Uh, uh Rivlo. Yeah, if we can bypass him. Okay. Ah, the Egyptian desert. Ivan is already complaining about being thirsty. Harry sighs and checks the map. You got from the renowned ex re renowned explorers international society. Uh, Temple of War. Ooh. I don't know if we're gonna make this one. Eh, we better. By chance, a British expedition passes you. The leader of the caravan approaches you with enthusiasm. Ah, another group of fine explorers. Be careful not to drown in the desert. Visit an oasis to replenish your supplies. He hands over a map of all the oasises. Oasises? Okay, that's what we're looking for. Oh, does it cost me two? When the British investor disappears, Harry rallies the crew. It's time to start this adventure in the desert. Okay, so does that cost... That costs two to get there. Which challenge? Do we even have a tactician? I got a one. One tactician, one beguiler. I might be able to do this challenge. Let's give it a go! I mean, what's the worst gonna happen? Oh! Get stuck in quicksand. Uh, Harry moves in to help. Should be able to do this one. I don't do the chance wheel very often. Harry thinks fast and resourcefully saves Ivan from the quicksand. This could have been an expensive misstep. And that gives me some random campaign tokens. Wow, those are actually quite worthwhile. Okay, and I can I can go to the um I can go to the oasis, pick up some pick up some supplies, visit the oasis, and we get um how many supplies? Oh, what does I Ivan do? Ivan goes fishing. Ivan goes will pick dates, check if they're nutritious plants, or ask locals for supplies. Well, obviously going to pick dates because that's the only thing you can do 100. percent um, but I thought it said Ivan goes fisting for a second, and that would have been exciting. Uh, what's this game about? Uh, it's, I'd say it's a choose-your-own-adventure game, but it's kind of like, uh, if you took a... I, I mean, the entire point is just completing challenges based on how you've min-maxed your characters and associated parties, so, like, half this game is prep. And then every once in a while there's, like, tactical combat, which is kind of fun. Anyway, Ivan climbs to the highest point of the date palm and starts picking. Augusta... Gush of wind shakes the tree, but Ivan holds on. But all the dates have dropped. Enough to make some money! Let's see what we've got so far. And time to continue. And we've refilled filled our supplies, so that's good. Let's head this direction next. As you walk through the desert, you see a British treasure enthusiast being followed by some female companions walking desperately towards you. Once he's caught his breath, he asks you, Good day, sir! We are currently traveling towards one of the British digging sites, and we've run out of supplies during our travels in this vast dry desert. Could you spare some? Offer him some of your supplies? Sure. You offer him some of your supplies, but the enthusiast wants even more. He tries to persuade you. Alright, so battle time. I, I guess he was going to be uh, aggressive no matter what. He's uh... His lady friends have guns. So for this is campaign, that's study, or we can do friendly for an encounter token. Uh, looks like we're going friendly on this one. Maybe. This is, I don't know if I can. Can I shoot? The answer is no. So we're uncertain. I'm going to focus up. What can he do? Heal positive. Oh. I'm gonna positive him up. I want these guys to be buffed if I can. Let's see. Impressed if it's positive. Speech defense. Nope. Mimes armor. Okay, so this guy, this guy just does negative, negative things. I was trying to buff up my allies, but that doesn't seem to work. Yep. N none of these are useful. Okay. Oh shoot! That British adventure has a lot of money. And apparently, okay, we might have to do this one aggressively anyway. Okay, so let's see. Uh, can I impress? I can. I can impress her to death. 
But anyway, we did boost it up. So there's that. Okay. So we've got uncertain physical attacks have extra attack power. Okay, that's good to know. Now, it'll take a lot of... A lot of devious. No nearby targets for enrage. So we can try to impress him. But that's a bad move. Because it reduces his speech defense. Okay. I could maybe shoot her, but I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, let's just let's just end turn. So I'm worried about this guy just because he's got a really high movement and spirit. Okay. He just threw a lot of money at me. That's a problem. Okay. Looks like we're going to have to re resort to uh, physical violence here. Focus. Piercing shot. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. Because otherwise we lose Ivan and we lose that. Extra speech defense. Eh, it'll do. Ivan! Beat the shit out of him. A British enthusiast is not having a good day. Alright, well that works for me. Oh, that's it. That's it for the encounter. Yeah, so we get a campaign token. That and some battle tokens. Actually, that's not so bad. Works for me. The British treasure enthusiast is not able to convince you. And he apologizes for the inconvenience. I humbly apologize for my behavior. I'll put a, in a good word for you uh, for your, you to all the other adventures I... Uh, the other travelers I encounter. Okay, great. Continue. And let's head this way. So we've got... We've still got all of our supplies. He didn't take any. What a rare sight. A group of British goons without a leader. They're approaching you. They catch up to you and one starts talking. We cannot find our boss. We were sure he wants you gone. Usually he tells us how to behave during a confrontation since he's not here. We'll approach you in an unfriendly manner. Earl is tactically prepared. Come on, Earl. We've got this. Oh, they're right here. Oh, this is easy enough. I like the aggressive approach. Okay, use this gun immediately. Actually, no. You know what? We're going to do this. We're going to focus up. For better or worse, I don't know. Ivan, you're going to move in. You're going to pinning strike her. That way they're all stuck and the other one can't get by, I think. I'll have him move up. We'll reduce her armor. Oh, in retrospect... Oh, wait, no, we, we've already escalated in that, that manner. Okay, let's see how this goes. I think Ivan will be able to survive. Oh, we might be screwed on Ivan's part. Yep, there it goes. Minus one resolve. Damn it. I forgot these guys... These gals have really good speech attack, and he gets he gets w hit way too easily. Yeah, I should have just started with the AOE move. Oh well, I've still got a fair amount of resolve to begin with, but uh, probably shouldn't risk it so much in the future. Goons without a leader is like fish without fins. The goons leave you slightly disoriented, and you can continue on your journey. Great. Uh, let's see. That's not a bad one. Anything else? Particularly good or bad here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, this direction. A uh, group of scorpions are waiting in the desert for some prey. More importantly, amidst the scorpions is a bag of golden coins, slowly drifting away in the quicksand. Uh, someone needs to distract the scorpions or sneak quickly. Let's take a look. Quick-witted. Okay, on second thought, can't do that. We're not we're not good enough for, for distracting the scorpions. What about sneaking by them? 100%. Harry will sneak by, past the scorpions. And gets the gold. And we get to run away from the scorpions. In retrospect, I probably could have just fought them. But, who cares? Let's go this way. I'm going to start beelining for this this oasis. Just to get some more supplies. Okay. Uh, crew's relaxing at night. Looking at the stars. It's pretty cold out here. But the campfire provides some heat. Then something happens. Ivan pop suddenly pops up. And starts running towards the ruins of an obelisk nearby. The crew thinks Ivan is losing it. Harry quickly follows to see what's going on. I like Ivan's face there. That was great. Ivan is obsessively looking through maps and at the obelisk. Harry looks a bit flabbergasted as Ivan sums up locations and calculations. Suddenly, Ivan seems to know something. 
It's in the stars. Ivan is impressed by the ancient Egyptian astronomers who made detailed maps of the sky. It inspires Ivan to look up. How does the universe really work? Harry is happy to see Ivan is being so curious about the nature of the universe. Ivan has gained interest in the occult. He is now an astronomer. I don't even know. Okay, so we got perk upgrade. We gather sense of humor or rogue sneaking perk. So one gives him extra move. The other one gives him extra speaking. Oh, that's grit. Extra grit seems like a good idea. Rogue sneaking. Let's go with the rogue sneaking perk. I don't actually know how that, that factors in, but it seems like a good idea. Okay, and... What does that give him? Extra speech, but not... Is this... No, that's speech defense. Oh, we want that speech defense. We want it bad. So this way he's kind of min-maxed on both. Ivan is now an occultist. Dude, that would be hilarious. Okay, so I'd like to go this way, but that costs two supplies. We can still make it. Let's do it. Engineer or Rogue could totally complete that challenge. Crew finds some materials that could be uh, used to create some helpful gear and tools. Should be studied. Well, Earl tries to uh, make something useful. Success. Earl has the stroke of inspiration on how to use those British leftovers in just the right way. The result is some valuable experience and an excellent tool. Your next challenge will be much easier because of this tool, but it can only be used once. Okay, so we've got three left, so... I want to go up there, but we're not going to get the chance. We'd need to go for that oasis. Nothing interesting in the area. I should be able to do this loop around. Let's see what we get. A ravine! You might be able to find something useful at the bottom. Someone can climb down, but doing so... Uh... Doing so in the searing here will cost supplies. Minus one supplies, bonus collect. I don't really need the treasure. Let's let's go let's go replenish our stuff. How much does that set me? To Oasis, visit the Oasis. With a long hard struggle through the vast hot uh, desert, you finally reach an oasis. There's a lake with some fish, date palms, whatever. Ah, uh, we can go for dates. Just like last time. Oh, this only gives us two supplies. I thought this was going to give me a lot more. Oh, well, it gave me some amount. Well, that's good. Um, At this point, I'm probably going to want to beeline for the next oasis if I can. Okay, caravan of explorers in the British Excavation Forces looking for treasures of the Empire. One of the... Oh, for the Empire. One of the investors seems to have an important document in his possession. Or he tries to steal the document. Hey, it's... Escapes the explorers. Cheerio, slowpokes. Harry makes his way away with the... Harry makes away, really, with the document and some coin. That's some interesting wording there. Oh, well, let's head this direction. Nothing of interest in the area. I can't really get around. So this cost me two. Let's see if I, I can get around this way. Nope. Shoot. Oh, this is a problem. So we're going to be low on supplies here. Everyone's growing weak. Cost some supplies. Oh, Ivan boldly goes on motivating the rest to do so as well. Out of supplies. Press on. Having severe effects on the crew members. They've lost attack power. Okay, let's go here. Let's get some supplies. Okay, perfect. Uh, Oasis, visit supplies. Get anything here. Uh, let's see. Talk to the locals. We get some stories. A great explorer. So we get an extra. Okay, we have pretty much nothing left. Let's um, let's perk this guy up. So we get spotting. So if he's not a survivalist, let's go with uh, engineering. Seeing as I think that works out well for him. Yeah, he's not even using his grit. Let's unlock that. And we got strike fear. Negative attack. Nice. Effective enemies within the target line. Stuns non-boss characters. Wow, that's powerful. Strike of fear is great. I will keep that in mind. Okay. Let's see what we're going to do next. Um, I'd like to do many other things, but I, I guess we're going to this unexplored place. Oh, there were some supplies down there. Oh, well, not the end of the world. There it is, the Temple of War. Once you figure out what's going on here, the expedition will come to an end. Are you ready to enter the temple? Onwards! Crew approaches the temple. That is an excellent state. However, the seal's already been removed. Harry tells the crew, the temple is dedicated to Sekhmet, 
the goddess of war and destruction. The crew carefully approaches the entrance. After following a hallway, the crew arrives in the chamber of war. Sarcophagi of soldiers are aligned against the wall, and Estelle stands tall in the center. It seems someone has been here before. The crew sees no way to continue. The investigation has started. Let's, uh, let's study. Okay. In the search, Harry approaches the stell and reads it out loud. By the decree of Sekhmet, only those skilled in the art of war may proceed. All of a sudden, a sarcophagus, uh, all of a sudden, a sargoph sarcophagus, wow, bursts open. Sometimes I can read things properly. It's a mummy general. Beat me in a game of war, oh living thing, and prov prove your worth. Soldier figurines start moving across the floor, which reveals itself to be a map of Lower Egypt. The game of war is about to begin. Uh, play of way of war. All right, let's play the game of war. A uh, very tactical game. Then yeah, second thought, let's try something else. Let's try talking to the general. Does it? Uh, can we? Is anybody diplomatic, or is this pretty much doomed? Okay, so that doesn't work. Let's beat the shit out of him. Something is wrong. Okay. The crew now moves on uh, through a long and dark hallway. The crew can only see ahead with the flaming light of their torches. Wall paintings describe locations where their offerings were brought to Segment in order to win her favor and war. You have a feeling you're missing something here. Study. At least 30 minutes pass. The crew walks down a very long corridor. Ivan feels very uncomfortable in this enclosed dry place. Harry bolsters the crew's will to carry on. Then you hear some noises in the distance. Find a new room. Sacred ground of the goddess Sekhmet. The treasure is lit red with the oddest light and filled with ancient treasure. At last, war rises again. Ah, uh, no. The incarnation of Sekhmet stands before you. Finally, I'm whole again. First, I need to repay my debt. The goddess of war has been called to wage war against the enemies of her followers. You! Now bow down before me or be the first ones to fall. Engage. We're going to beat the crap out of her if we can. Unfortunately, I feel like I did the dumb thing. Well, since when do I do the smart thing? Let's try piercing shot. Might be good enough. Then again, let's try just regular attacks. Because if I can have... What the... Bastet is transforming. Uh-oh. At least we've got a... A lot of bonuses here. Can you range? Nope. Okay, guess you're moving forward. You're just gonna beat the tar out of this thing. Okay, so this is a bit of a complication, obviously. Cause she has a lot of health, and those are some pretty crazy-looking mummies. Oh shit! He actually gets a hit in. Barely does anything though. That's good. Oh shit! We have got a lot of mummies here. I didn't even process that one. Okay. Well. You're moving in for the aggressive shot. Holy shit, she has so much health. Okay. So what's the range on this thing? I'm gonna... I'm gonna wager that this is good enough. Cross my fingers. That we'll be fine. She resisted. Oh, she resisted. Okay. What do you've got? Primal Roar. Pin. What's her speech defense? Yeah, her physical defense is much lower. Unfortunately, his speech attack is terrible. Extra speech minus attack. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna try and terrify her. She resisted. Okay. This might end up really poorly for me. I might have to redo the encounter. Who knows though? My physical my physical defense is actually pretty high and these guys don't do a whole lot of damage. And I can one hit KO most of the mummies. It's just a matter of surviving the initial couple of assaults and her damage. Okay. So let's see. Can I can I do this? I can. AOE for days. Let's see, you've got a while before that. She's got speech problems, so we're gonna run away for a second. Minus 25 speech defense, minus 25 armor.
Did it hit her with the speech? I don't even know. Well, let's just keep hitting her with that. Unfortunately, she's got really heavy resistance to pretty much everything. Oh, see you, Mad Gizmo. At least I've got a sarcophagus opens. Oh, that's not good. I don't even know what that necessarily means for me here. Ah, oh, crap. Ivan might go down. I might have ruined everything here. Okay. Impress. The thing is like Let's just let's just do that. She's apparently weak to um taunts. Okay. So these these mummies don't do a whole lot of damage. Let's just take her out with with taunting and stuff. Yeah, cuz devious abilities get a bonus. Okay. And we we're provocative, so extra grit. Unfortunately, that reduces the bonus we we're enjoying for a second there. But this will have to do. Okay, Primal Roar. That'll take Sekhmet out at the very least. She resisted, but still died. And absolutely terrified of the crew, which means we win. Yes! Okay. We broke the impotent's minds. I don't, I don't think I've ever done that one before. Okay, enough. Is it clear that I'm not ready yet to raise war and curses over your kin? I need to rest another 4,000 years. A god is defeated. Yes. Hey, study. Perfect. And she disappears. When everything clears up, it seems she has left something behind. A mask of pure gold and precious metals. We get the segment mask. Okay, and treasure hunt, secret, and discovery. Take all that. Sweet, sweet business. As you pick up the mask, the temple starts shaking. The, this whole goddess reviving thing is left to the temple, a tad unstable. The temple is collapsing. You're running out of time. Earl refuses to leave without some of the treasure. Okay. Ooh, odds for a future event decreases by 40%. Unbelievable, the crew is about to run when Harry looks back. Earl is mesmerized by the treasure. Harry can't leave Earl behind and goes back. But is that treasure really worth your life? After Harry throws a punch to snap Earl out of it, the crew starts running, but not without Earl smuggling some gold. Ah, son of a bitch. Run! 10% chance of failure. Or success. That's not good. Oh no, you were trapped. You almost made it out while leaving spoils behind. But the entrance collapsed in front of you. Harry started to panic. Are you stuck here for the rest of your life? That's when a huge steam drill opens the entrance. Who's that? Rivolo. Oh, hello. Don't you know this isn't a place safe for amateurs? This place isn't safe for amateurs. Harry is more frustrated than relieved at being saved by your rival. Rivolo continues. I'm here to investigate a sinister group called the Anti-Explorers. Have you seen anything? No. Rivolo seems to have expected that. Of course not. You're a rookie. Stupid of me to ask. However, I fear... They pose a threat to all of us. He then continues in a lighter tone. I'll handle this matter myself. Now why are we still here? This place has been explored. Let's move out. To London. Well, that that went okay. I guess. I don't know if I'm going to get enough um, reputation though. We'll see how my renown stacks up after this. Because I need, I need to get to 2,000 reputation. And this mission might not have been good enough for it. At least we get some extra resolve. That's good, so we, we can take on something harder. Harry Walker. Oh, we need to make 700 and one more mission. I don't know if we can do it. As you return to London, Pinkerton greets you. Harry! Oh. Harry, you have time for one last expedition before the World Expo starts, and the most renowned explorer is presented. This is your last chance to gain more renown. One last expedition. Let's make it count. Soon after, journalists storm into the society. They want to hear all from you. Harry, Harry, the world is looking forward to your final discoveries and judgment. What should the world uh, look at when following you? What will bring you the most renown? Uh, let's see. 100% renown from research, 25% renown from everything else. Status. Or gold. I'm going to go with uh, look at the wealth I amass, just because that's it. Or 60% from everything. I'm gonna say gold. Okay, alright, we'll take a good look. When they leave, Harry gathers the crew. It's time to prepare one last time. Jambo, skilled explorer. The African Union has heard about your amazing trials in the Memphis desert. We'd like to invite you to our port, societies, and ruins to share your insight. Kind regards, Professor Yacoub Touré. Okay, so we've got, um... 
Cape Town Societal Club. That seems like a good good place to earn some stuff. Let's take a look at the other one. That gets me money and combat. Gets me an encounter token. Weird. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go with we're gonna go with those because we want research and stuff. And that was the last of my insight. Okay, let's close this. Let's check research. We can afford insight after finishing expeditions. That's it's not useful. Oh, hey, I can unlock these. That's good. So which one of these do I want to do? Collect if I do aggressive. That seems like a good idea. Yep, okay, we're doing unlock adventure. All fighters gain... Ooh. Okay, that's useful. We pretty much have to do that, though, for money. Because every time we resolve an encounter aggressively, we get cash. Okay. Actually, what's the basic one for this? Oh. Plus one collect whenever you do a wits challenge. Makes sense. What game is this? Renowned Explorers International Society. Uh, it's, I've been putting it up on my YouTube, but I guess uh, my Twitch following might not see that as much. Okay, let's go to the Red Square Market. No, let's go to, um... Do I want to? I should probably upgrade my weapons. Can I? Resist damage, resist damage. No, I'm, there are no there are no weapons here worth weaponing. Getting the better armor might not be a bad idea. No, I've actually maxed out all the armor. Okay, let's upgrade this one more time and see what we can get. Expensive business. I was really hoping I could get a really powerful weapon. Huh. Okay, incredible rose. Speech persuasive. See, most of these aren't even that useful. Adjacent allies gain extra attack power. That's not bad. Actually, that's tactician. You're a tactician, right? Really wish I could tell from here. Uh, let's let's close out of this. You, you're you're a tactician. Yes. Engineer tactician. Tactician athlete. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna go back. To, we're gonna go back to this one, Tactician's Notes. Do I want to spend my money on it? That's the question. It's either that or give people armor or gloves. I haven't really looked into offensive stuff. That's probably a good idea. Okay, so we've already got, what are these? Good gloves. Or books. What's his speech power? Everybody's attack power is better, right? Okay, so we're just gonna we're just gonna give everybody. We're just gonna give everybody master gloves. That'll do, I guess. Cause I'm not gonna be able to afford anything else. Money is so hard to come by in this game. That's fine. Cause yeah, no, nothing else here is going to help me that much. I will keep this in mind in the future, though. Okay. Clear out. Clear out of that. Let's let's go let's go to Stockholm Stort Snurgen Snurgen Okay, specialist. Collect a few resolve encounter friendly. No, that's not useful. Collect with a tactician. No, that's not useful. It's not useful. Let's upgrade this one more time. Specialist four. That's rogue. Inset in London. None of these are good. All right. Well, let's buy merchants because we want all of the money. As much money as we can possibly get. Status from encounter. Status from lobbyists. Okay. I think that's that's it. Unless I'm missing something here. Speech tyrannizing. Speech defense. The battery still seems like a good idea. But no, he's got he's got terrifying moves, does he not? He's got... Try to Terrify, yeah. So we don't want to do that. Both, both of his abilities are actually boosted by the uh, machete. Okay, well, 